Melanie, right now, these neighbors are worried about this woman's safety. They say in the dead of night, she just appeared in this neighborhood. She then went from house to house, quietly ringing the doorbells before vanishing. This seven second clip taken from a doorbell camera leaves so many unanswered questions. In it, you'll see a woman walk up to a home around 3.20 in the morning in Montgomery County's Sunrise Ranch subdivision. Neighbors tell me she looks to be in distress. She's shoeless and isn't wearing pants. What's more alarming, neighbors say she appears to be wearing restraints around her wrists. Just the look on her face, but she was being very, very quiet. When she, you see the video, um, she was being very quiet and looked just distressed. And then you saw the shackles or whatever on her arms. We still don't know who the girl is, if she's local, if she's from somewhere else. Did she come from within the neighborhood? I heard somebody was like they were downstairs, and then by the time I got to the door, they were gone. I looked outside, I didn't see anybody. Melanie, if you know this woman or you are this woman, you're asked to contact the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. Okay, okay. So, I checked this out. You probably heard about this story, and I just figured I've got so little influence on this channel, but whatever influence I have, I'd like to put this out here. If not, just, if not, if anything, just for awareness. Uh, this, this story really stuck out to me. I don't necessarily know why, but if any of my listeners, followers, subscribers, anybody watching this video can get anything from this, go ahead and share it. Uh, this young lady... This young woman, seemingly a captive, rang this doorbell and was picked up on the doorbell cam. And she's, she's appearing, she appears to wear shackles, and it's just, it's just a very suspicious situation. Now, if you notice where this guy is standing, this is actually the entrance to this community. And when you think, or at least when I saw the video initially, um, I think going into neighborhoods, you know, surface streets and, and, and things, take a look at what this neighborhood uh, looks like. So this is where the gentleman was standing, and this was is the entrance into the neighborhood. Now I say entrance because if you look at it, here is the main road leading into the Sunrise Ranch uh, subdivision, and there's no really no other way in here, uh, conventional way in here that isn't through the road, right? So I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking I don't think that this person came from this main road. I could be wrong, and this is just a theory, but I'm looking at this, and it's like, it seems as though this neighborhood is likely where this lady came from. Now, this is the position where the gentleman was giving uh, the interview, where he was standing right here, because he they interviewed individuals down this lane. Now, when you go back to this video at about, yeah, the 45 mark, I was able to get this address. It is one. 8416 it's it's awful you, you can't see it but i see the 18416 right there and having that information i was able to deduce roughly uh well deduce where this interview take place and roughly where where this lady was caught on the camera so here we are in front of the area where this this lady was giving the interview you see the double mailboxes the basketball hoop in the background in this this house here uh, we see the same thing. There's the double mailbox. There's this house they actually painted that you, you can see. I, I checked out this area to make sure it was right. I mean, there, there's the house, right? There's the tree. There's a mailbox. Here's the, the lamp and this green box. You go over to, you know, here is the the house, the tree, the, the lamp, the, the mailbox, that, that thing. They even have the, uh, and this was, from, remember, this footage here, this is from five years ago, because this is what it says, you know, Street View, August 2013, you know, it's 2018 right now. And it seems that they still have this basketball court out here somewhere. So this is this is clearly the same place where this woman was giving this interview. And I looked in here, I'm, I was like, well, what does the aerial view of this look like, right? So when I look at the aerial view, I just think it's so unlikely that this, that this lady came from this main stretch of road, right? Now, she could have come from anywhere, but... It, it, I'm working off the premise that she came from in here, or that, or, or she's a con artist, right? They're setting people up, trying to get people to, to break in their home, uh, to break pe break into people's homes, right? Uh, now, this was the only area I wasn't able to see. When I look at, I, I did a Google tour, <laughs> Google Google Maps tour throughout this whole thing to try and get the position of where this lady had rang the bell. And I, I, I judge this based off of the streetlights. If you look in this video here. 
Where's she at? Boom. No, where's she at? This right here definitely looks to be a street light, and it's coming from coming from the right. Now, again, I, I took the initiative to go ahead and look through this whole area, like a little Google a Google Maps tour and everything. Uh, these street lights in this neighborhood is very rare. Now, I wasn't able to see any of the homes. I've, I've seen a lot of interviews, and, and they've shown pictures of the video clips of the house that, that they ring the doorbell at. It, you do not have access to that on Google Maps. I think that it's somewhere in here because uh, based on the again the positioning of this light, the pillars, and almost all the houses here, they have a lot of pillars. So you can tell based on the pillars, the bush set up, and the light just about where the house was. Anyway, the point is, I think it was in here. I couldn't get there. When I picked my little guy up, uh, it, the blue shows all the areas where you can go. Now, of course, you, you can be in these areas down here, right, where it's not lit up. Or it could have been in this area here. Now, I don't know. The reason why I'm suggesting it might be uh, this area here is I'm guessing if she was, someone was in pursuit, right? This is the only road feasibly, I mean, I mean, I mean really, if you, if you look at it, that gets in or out of this area, okay? And if she had someone in pursuit, whether it was a, a car or, or whatever, I think that she'd be making a point to to avoid sight or, or sights along this road. I, I, again, I, I don't know. Just looking at oh, where's that? The entrance to where this home is, and I'm just giving you this as a uh, as a rough guide to try and give you a visual where this took place. Because really, I'm of the opinion that if this if this young lady was being uh, was being held captive. <sighs> Gruesomely, it's it's likely it was likely happening in this neighborhood. I mean, if she was in such a hurry, where she because she rang a couple doorbells at a couple different places, twenty to thirty times at one spot, and she didn't stick around long enough for any of them to be able to open the door and see her. Okay, so at least four or five neighbors, I think, that she she rang the doorbell on, uh, which to people or even to me would seem that she might have been uh, in pursuit or you know, she could have been drugged no no nobody knows i just find it very skeptical to think that she came in through this area was in pursuit and in such a hurry that she couldn't stick around in one of these homes uh to wait for some help if she was able to make it here without i i just don't i just don't see that i i, I really think that it came from within this neighborhood if this is legit, if she's not a, a, a con artist, and again, if you look at the videos, and I'll leave links in the description, but uh, she does appear to be wearing something here and there. Uh, they have they have better videos out. I apologize if mine isn't isn't that one, but it, it's absolutely this is absolutely incredible. Just take a look at this, right? Just take a look at this visual, and just imagine you're running away from someone at night. And you go to this. And where did you come from? And I mean, look look at the area. It's, it's suspicious, right? They've got this. They got this uh, pizza place here, uh, a UPS store. This is a. There's a storage here somewhere, I believe. Uh, what's that? Sure. AA climate controlled storage. You know, there's a storage area right here. I mean, this is just a very suspicious place, a very suspicious incident. If you if you know anything, go ahead, leave a comment below, leave your thoughts. I'll leave links in the description to the different interviews that, that, that they had with this um, in this neighborhood about this young lady. It, it just seems very, very odd looking at Google Maps and, and her, how she approached. Let's see if we can check that out again. Brace around her wrists. Why? Just the look on her face. But isn't wearing pants. What's more alarming, oh, no, neighbor. This seven second clip taken from a doorbell camera leaves so many unanswered questions. In it, you'll see and a woman the, walk up to a home. This is the worst video I could have shown you guys. Um, the other people out there have done a, a much better job. What do I look? But yeah, that's really what I want to say. I mean, they've got. This is a really suspicious area. This really stands out to me. I mean, really, if, if you want my opinion, I, I, I think she came, she either came somewhere from here or this is this is a con job. You know, you, it's really hard to say nowadays. But uh, go ahead and scrutinize this for yourself. Keep your head up out there. Thanks for stopping by.